What's going on guys? Sean B here and today we're back in Daisy B because I have made more progression once again. We are at day 19 and we are progressing non-stop. And I also want to answer some questions you guys may have in the comment section below and during my live stream. So let's get to it. First and the most important is GB10 progression. As you can see right there, 1 minute 14 seconds and that is my team with Abigail as the leader but Abigail is actually not that important I can use my Vamp Lord and the results can be pretty similar this is my Abigail runes totally broken once again speed could damage and attack doesn't really matter okay she's there for the attack leader skill so that my Sigmaras can do more damage and she helped to clear the trash wave a little bit faster during the boss stage, I actually want her to die as soon as possible because my team can clear the boss really fast if I only have Fran, Sigmaras, and Lapis. Lauren and Abigail can die as soon as I reach the boss stage and put out some debuffs. So in this stage, if you want it to be faster, you need to have AoE damage or AoE armor break for the damage dealer to destroy the golems in the tower quickly. You want to have some decent speed to move before the trash wave. If you're rocking something like 10 bonus speed, you will be lagging behind because the golem or the side crystal can do damage and slow you down. Because when the enemy take a turn, you are actually wasting time in the stage. So the faster you deal damage to them, the better the dungeon run will be. And you may think that there is so many multi hit in this team. Why do you have so much multi hit in GB10? Actually, when I experiment this kind of team, I realized that the more multi hit I have, the more safe, the safer my Sigmaras will be. Because the multi hit unit have a much better chance to take hit from the boss. And as long as my Sigmaras can survive, then the stage will be done really, really fast. Here, my Lauren die, perfect. The boss will not move after this. And I don't have to waste time letting Lauren take a turn. This is the best possible. I don't mind my units dying one after another. As long as Sigma survive, I can have a very, very fast run. See that? You don't need Bernard, you don't need Bella because attack buff from Fran, armor break from Lauren, attack break from Fran, attack by reduction from these two support, and you are good to go. Sigmaras will destroy this boss man it's crazy crazy good my sigmaras is not on the default rune set anymore it's a little bit better the slot one has more quick damage and the slot five has a little bit more quick damage the moment i can get my skill up on sigmaras to max out the second and the third skill to have less cooldown i think my run time can be even faster especially in the boss stage you need this skill to do a lot of damage on the boss Lapis is not using the best rune set because I don't intend to farm Feynman a lot more. I'll be spamming GB10 from now on to get runes. So she's using whatever I have left over as a damage dealer runes. Okay? This is friend runes. Nothing changed. Speed, HP, HP. The free rune set that you get. I'm not farming DB10 so I think friend will be like this for a long time. This thing is the same as well. Speed, defense and attack. She can survive fine in the trash wave and she will die during the boss stage, which is perfect. You can use the Vamp Lord instead of Abigail. Honestly, you can use any damage dealer here and use Lapis as a leader and I think you'll do just fine. And that's actually my plan to make a Crow to improve my timing because Crow can destroy the boss stage with his skill 3. So I think Having Crow to reduce cooldown potentially from Sigmaras will be very very good as well. But that is the plan for the future. For now, I'm very happy with this team. You don't need Veramos, you don't need Asia. Fran and Lauren is all you need. Focus good rune set on these two units and you will be fine. You don't have to 6 star Bella, you don't have to 6 star Bernard to make the first GB10 team work. If you want to see what my first GB10 team looked like, you may want to check the older episode. I think it's episode 3. You can see my first Giants B10 team. And as long as I can get some decent runes on my support, 
I can start moving to do this triple damage dealer team. In the future, I may want to take out Fran. I really want to pull the Win Barbaric King, but for now, I think one minute is really, really decent already. I just need to get my crow ready and then I can kill the boss stage really, really fast. I think you can use the Win Nine Tail as a free to play strong damage dealer to replace either Abigail or Lapis because honestly Lapis don't do a lot of damage she is there she do a lot of damage for the trash wave because she's an AoE damage dealer but here she doesn't do much Sigma does the most damage here and I only want the turn to go to Sigma that's why he's on speed good damage and attack not attack good damage attack faster more damage because Sigmaus does damage based on enemy max HP. So there's no point stacking too much attack stat on the bird. I don't farm dragons, I don't farm necro, there's no point. I'm trying to clear necro but I can't yet, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I can't kill a necro. I try and try again with Abigail but it just doesn't work. So screw it, I'm gonna wait my turn to get the rage runes from the rewards, okay? I'm stuck on TOA heart 50 because this boss is a pain in the butt. It's too hard, man. <laughs> I need to build up a proper stun team, like a Tyrone, Dark Towers, and Mantrura combo to lock down the, the side unit, the monkeys and the yetis, and then use Lauren to control the main boss and just kill him from there. For now, way too hard. Can't do it yet. But I think if I'm not stuck here on this particular stage, I can progress much further in TOA hard. It's not a big problem for me right now. I am currently using this to farm 2A for Crow. The runs take 4 minutes. It's really, really slow because my units are not strong, but at least it is pretty safe. So it's gonna be a while until I second awaken my Crow. It takes, it takes so long to farm, I, I get really frustrated. But this team can do the level 4 Inugami dungeon really, really well. This team can do the level 5 as well, but my stats are not good enough, so the crystal do a lot of damage on my unit. So I'm not there yet. When I get my unit to be tankier, maybe build some towers, I think I can conquer level 5. But now, I'll be doing level 4 to second awaken Crow. Next up will probably be Rogue, but I think Crow is gonna take a while to second awaken first. Some of you guys think I have some unfair advantage to progress in the game. <laughs> Okay, let's check this out, yeah? You think I have a G3 guild to carry me? No, this is our new fresh guild. We have nothing here. We have a lot of casuals. Wendy and Nadim is the only two strong player in this guild. The rest are very casual. Sometimes they don't even do the guild battle and I kick people out often because they go inactive. So this is a very, very, casual and beginner guild. This guild is two weeks old, man. There's nothing in this guild. There's no buff, there's no whatsoever in the guild. So we, we are starting fresh. And I have no plan to progress further for the guild. So everyone is setting one man defense and we win one, we lose one. That's about it. We don't win any guild defense. And we don't even get the plus one, two, three for guild battle. So I cannot farm points like a madman. If you think I'm in a G3 guild to enjoy experience buff, stats, bonus, no, okay? That's out of the way. Next concern, why do I have so many Devilmon on Sigmaras in 19 days? Okay, it has been 3 weeks since the first day I started playing the game, almost 3. Which means I can buy 3 Devilmons from the magic shop. I can get one from TOA. For each unique element 6 star, I get one Devilmon as well. And I get from challenge reward, this thing. There's a Devilmon somewhere around here. Yeah, I get Devilmon from here as well. And in the previous event, the lucky draw one, you can get Devilmon there as well. So you get Devilmon from all over the place. <laughs> Dude, for early game player, we get Devilmon everywhere. So the fact that I'm maxing my Sigmaras kill is pretty justified. I'm not buying Devilmon pack. There's no Devilmon pack to buy. There's only this pack. I'm not even buying it, okay? I don't buy Intermediate pack. I don't buy Grove pack. It's still here. So 
this account is totally free to play. There's no cash involved, purely time and resource management. Okay, there's no packs, there's no money whatsoever. Free to play, a hundred percent. Next question: How did I get my friend so fast? You need a hundred ancient coin to get your hands on friend, but one event only give you roughly thirty ancient coins. When I started, I was at the end of the lucky draw event. I actually got my hands on twenty coins in that event, and there was another event going on which I could get thirty, so I got fifty. And then two more events coming out after that allow me to get friend. Simple as that. Ancient coin from event. I didn't even use the guild summoning pieces. That's why I could only get friend on the day fourteen or day thirteen. I think if I started a little bit earlier to get my hands on the coins in the lucky draw event. I could only get half of it. I think I would have gotten Fran a little bit earlier, but you know, got my friend in day fourteen. Pretty easy. Ancient coins, man. Just do your events. I rush my events as soon as I start the account. So, ancient coin very important. How do I six star things so quickly? You use every single unknown scroll possible. Every scroll is very important. You summon them. You get one star unit, and you level every single one star unit. Okay, don't go lazy and feed them to max your two star because you get very limited unknown scroll. So max every single one star out there. Buy every unknown scroll from shop. Buy every silver two star from shop, and then you have enough fodder to make six star. And in the first fourteen days, you get a lot of free rainbow mon. So. Six starring in the early period is really easy. My six star rate is slowing down significantly because I spend my energy in GB10 and I don't get a lot of unknown score anymore. But it's totally fine. I have my core team running and I can farm GB10 as a pretty pretty decent rate. So I'm getting some good runes. Like the other day I got this one, but raw pretty badly. I got which one? I got this one that rolled pretty well, and I think I got a Swift Legend. Yeah, it's on it's on my Lauren right here. This one is from Crafting. I do have a couple decent runes, but so far the runes are average. You know, just farm, and you will get your hands on runes that will be usable. So this one was Legend as well, but didn't roll really really well. Yeah. This one was from crafting, but rolled into HP flat twice. Yikes! So, I'll be spamming GB10 exclusively, and I'll be making six star occasionally along the way. And my next goal will be clearing TOA hard as soon as possible. I strongly believe I can clear TOA hard in 30 days, and will be rocking a minute GB10 by then as well. All right, guys, that's it for day ZB today. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate the support you guys give this beginner series because I thought that this series would not take off, but you guys really, really love it, and I hope that it was helpful to you in any shape or form. And I'm having so much fun as well. So win-win for me and you. Leave a like if you enjoy. Leave a comment down below if you have any question, and I'll see you guys in next video. Bye.